tell you a story that'll warm the cockles of your hearts. It begins on a shivery day at the Admiral Benbow Inn. That place had always been a very quiet inn. But after Jim Hawkins' father died, leaving his wife and son to manage it on their own, no one ever seemed to stop there. So when the likes of Billy Bones showed up, Jim and his mother were glad to see him. It's not exactly what one expected a guest to be. Um, can I help you, sir? Uh, we have hot baths inside if you prefer, sir. Bath? A vast there! Repel all borders! If there's one thing to be learned sailing the high seas, it's that water is dangerous. Too dangerous to be spending time sitting around in. Perhaps you'd care to come inside and dry off. Dry off? Oh, blast! Man the pumps! Suck out the bilges! Abandon ship! You think we can go inside now, sir? Of course we should go inside. What are we standing around here for? Ah, uh, you go first. A full <coughs> speed ahead! Oh, if you'll just <coughs> come right this way. Sir? Sir? Shh, quiet lad. We don't want them to know I'm here. Let who knows, sir? You and I are the only ones here. Yes, but can I be trusted? Uh, I think so, sir. And what about that dog? I don't like his looks at all. That's a relief. I wasn't sure. I can use a boy like you if you're smart enough. How many legs do I have? Why, two, sir. Good lad! Now, if you notice a seaman hanging about with only one leg, you come and tell me straight away, and I'll give you a silver penny. Do we have a bargain? <laughs> Fair enough. You're a good boy, Jim. I don't know about that dog, though. So while Billy Bones kept very much to himself, hardly daring to show himself to anyone, Jim was as good as his word. No man got past him without his legs being counted. One, two... Jim was very thorough. Three, four, five, six... And much smarter than Billy Bones expected. Here's your bill, Captain Bones. Bill? Well, this is what you owe us for the food and lodging. Well, will you look at that? What? Where? Oh, dear me, that was clumsy of me. I do hope that wasn't your only copy. It was. Oh. Well, I suppose we'll just have to forget it and begin fresh. Mm, no need for that. I remember what was on it. You do? Sir, I remember everything, even if I've only seen it once. Well, let's see. Seven nights lodging, including meals and midnight snacks, plus laundry service and leg counting comes to exactly... Shiver me timbers. That's amazing. You betcha, buddy. My boy's a genius. Smart as they come. And that's why we need you to pay up so we can get him some proper schooling. Ivy League, the whole shebang. 
So, it's high hopes we have, am I right? Of course. What would life be without them? Exactly. I suppose all this means you can't pay your bill. Oh, no. It means I have high hopes of paying you, you someday. And what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Well, I suppose I could make a small contribution to the boys' education. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Hello? Anybody home? Pew! Pew is right. Oh, man. I hope he's here for a bath. He's here for me! Save me, please! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me, matey. Uh, are you the innkeeper? Oh. This is my end. Oh, oh, excuse me, Mrs. Hill. Not used to bumping into such hard women. What can I do for you, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we need you to pass a message to your guest, Billy Bones. You tell him there's some old shipmates of his waiting impatient right outside, and that they won't wait much longer. <laughs> Oh, they look mean. I'll tell them. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, thank you kindly, ma'am. <laughs> the door's to your left. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, ma'am. Please, Mrs. Hawkins, Jim, you have to save me. Who are they, Captain? Never mind that now. This is what they're after. My high hopes for the future. And I'll give it to you if you'll only save me. All I want is for you to pay your bill and mosey on. I want to give it to you, Mrs. H, because you've been so good to me like the mother and son I never had. This means Jim's schooling. Besides, they'll kill home if they find it on me. Very well, but I don't know how we're going to get you past those vicious men. I have an idea. I says we go in and get him. Be late, talk hands. There'll be plenty of time for the rough stuff later. Ooh, ooh, somebody's coming. Ah, uh, goodbye, Mother. Say hello to Granny for me. Goodbye, Jim, dear. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. He's saying so long to his mommy. I had a mommy once. And I bet she was ugly as that one. Are you making fun of my mommy? Will you two stop playing around? There's work to be done. Well done. Now we have to worry about us. But... Aren't they only after Captain Bones? If they were gonna do horrible things to Bones, what are they gonna do to us when they find him gone? I think I'll block the door. Good thinking. Chair from Aunt Margaret and the couch from dear Uncle Vinny. <laughs> the door's locked. Don't just stand there like a couple of idiots. Do something. Cease, um, uh, uh, rather, uh, deceased. Uh, oh, oh, that hurt. Do you think it'll hold? Well, I'm afraid no door is as hard as that man's head, Mother. Just a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, someone's coming. Abandon ship. Come back, you cowards! Oh, I didn't see anyone coming! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> so, uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Wipe your feet! It's about time you got here, leaving a lady and a young boy at the mercy of vicious pirates. It is our pleasure to come to your rescue, dear lady. Well, how did you know to come, Squire Trelawney? Oh, nothing to it, actually. A woman stopped by and mentioned oh. you were in trouble. Hmm. Very strange-looking woman, too. Was she? I thought she was rather handsome. <laughs> That's because you had your wig over your eyes as usual. Did I? Oh, probably so. <laughs> no matter, really. Your lady couldn't get away fast enough when she discovered I was the county magistrate. Now, young man, why don't you let us have a peek at what those ruffians were after? Oh, I see. Seems to be a map of some sort. You're right, Squire. A very special map. Special? Special? How? I can't see a thing. Oh, it's a treasure map. Treasure? Treasure. Pirate loot. The means of dreams coming true. Treasure? Down, boy. School for Jim, help with the inn, a hospital for me, and a wig that fits for the squire. Oh, good show. You're going after it? Of course. And Jim, too. No way. Oh, Ma. Of course you are. Every boy needs a good adventure, eh? We wouldn't have the map without Jimbo here. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Just remember to dress warm, bring extra toothpaste. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> This trip will be the making of him, the making of us all! <laughs> Not to worry, dear lady. Nothing will happen to the boy with us about. Eh, Livesley? <laughs> Homie, worry. <laughs> it didn't take the three of them long to get to Bristol, one of England's most thriving seaports. Or to commission a stout ship for the voyage. The sailing brig Hispaniola! Or to become acquainted with a very unusual captain. <clears throat> Doctor, Jim, here's someone I want you to meet. Left one, two, three. Jim, right, Doctor, one, this is two, Captain three. Smollett, the commander of our vessel. A little higher, boys. Just five more. I promise. How do you do, Captain? I'm Dr. Livesey, and this is Jim Hawkins. Pretty tall, aren't you, Doctor? Yeah, Squire is, too. Don't trust tall men as a rule. Never know what they're thinking up there in all that thin air. You'll do, lad. Not tall at all. I but if I were you, I'd make a point of not growing up while you're on my ship. Do I make myself clear? Uh, aye, aye, sir. Ah, good lad. <laughs> <laughs> and you can swim too, yes, <laughs> good lad. But enough of the skylarking. It's time for us to pick a crew. Hey, guys, can you throw me a line? Hey, guys. Here's where I come into the story. No, no, closer. Let me introduce myself. The honorable, incomparable Captain Flint. Huh? Pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! <laughs> I'll always remember when Jim Hawkins saw Long John Silver for the first time. One? <laughs> What's the matter, lad? Never seen a man with one leg before. Lots, but they always had another one to go with it. <laughs> Ah, you're unlikely, lad. Sharp as a tack. What's your name, eh? Jim Hawkins. Well, Jim Hawkins, I'm John Silver. Folks call me Long John because I'm so tall. And this be Captain Flint. Say hello, Flinty. Ah, repel all boarders, abandon ship, and the dives will be the lucky ones. Uh, 
Noisiest bird on the seven seas, but always good for a laugh. I think the three of us will be great shipmates. Uh, I, I think so too. Uh, that is if your captain will sign on the likes of me. You know, it's hard for me to get a berth even as a ship's cook. Could uh, you give old Long John a hint as to what your captain likes in a seaman, eh? He's not very keen on tall people. <laughs> Thanks, lad. That'll do nicely. Hang on to Flint for me while I plead my case. Long John Silver? At your service, Captain. You're very tall, Silver, even for a sea cook. Oh, that's the truth, sir. It's been the tragedy of my life. Tragedy. Me father was a man like you, sir. Down to earth, nose to the ground. <laughs> Short. Why, he was exactly your height, Captain. Must have been a wonderful man. Oh, he was, sir. And he wanted his sons to be just like him. So, what happened? He was forced into a political union with a tall family. <laughs> there, there. Can you believe this guy? But he taught me to see the world from his point of view. Papa taught me to stand on my head before I could walk, so I could appreciate the advantages of the down-to-earth point of view. Very wise of him. Serving under you, sir, would be a dream come true. It would be like coming home again, Captain. Yeah! Oh, thank you, sir. I wish I had more like you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I know seamen who are drooling to ship out with you. Round them up, Silver. There's no time to lose. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, anchors away. Listen, you. Why don't you watch where I'm going? You. What? Oh, okay, I'm coming. This is your lucky day. If someone wasn't calling me, I'd put your lights out, matey. Now, oh, where did I put the blasted thing? Long John. Long John, you've got to help me. Now, of course I'll help you. We're shipmates, ain't we? What's the trouble, lad? Pirates! What are you saying, Jim? One of the ones I told you about. I saw him at the inn when they came for bones. <laughs> Is that all? I know it's him, Long John. I'll never forget that smell. Oh, pew, is it? Well, I'll get to the bottom of this as soon as I find my list of supplies. The list you showed me yesterday? Ah, oh, that's right. If I can't find it, I'll have to spend two days taking inventory again. Twelve kegs of molasses, fifty hogsheads of salted pork. Ah, oh, that's the one. You go check on Pew. I'll write your new list. Just like that? Oh, it's sharp as a tack you are, lad. I always said so. I'll be back in a jiffy. 150 cases of biscuit. You are not as smart as he says, mon petit chou. What? Who said that? C'est moi, biscuit. I'm saying it. You can't see me or something? But you're a mouse. Mice don't talk. Typical human. Sure, parents can mimic, but they can't carry on a conversation. We're carrying on a conversation, aren't we? Like a house of fire, Jimbo. This isn't happening. Hey, she's happening, all right. We're talking to you. I know, because I can feel my lips moving. Jim! See you later. Come on in, laddie. The water's just right temperature. Ah, Jim, lad. The captain wants you to fetch some apples to his cabin to go with his cheese souffle. Aye, aye, sir. But if you happen to cross Long John, will you tell him I need to speak with him, please? Aye, aye, sir. Drat! It's almost empty! Off! 
I'm telling you, Silver, I'm sure that lad never got a good look at any of us. <laughs> well, he saw you, Pew, and that's for sure. He knows you're a pirate. I say we cut the little twit's throat. Ah, we'll be cutting all their throats soon enough, Ange, but not until they've sailed the ship to the island and loaded the treasure for us. So, uh, what are you telling the little scud about me? Well, uh, I'll tell him it's your twin brother he saw, and uh, that you're an honourable seaman trying to live down the disgrace. <laughs> it's sharp as a tack you are, John, sharp as a tack. <laughs> <laughs> Now all we have to do is bide our time and not give ourselves away. Waiting makes me hungry. Get us some apples, George. That'll get the taste of cheese out of our gobs. Oh, not too many left. Fetch me a light. Here you go, George. Land ho! Hey, never mind the apples, George. We're here! We're at Treasure Island! Phew! Oh, pirates! Who'd have thought it of silver? We know that the pirates don't know that we know what they know. <laughs> you know? Oh, I'm getting a headache. Oh, just cover it up. Keep it warm. It'll pass. So we just play dumb until we see an advantage, and then take them by surprise. Play dumb? I mean, is that sporting? Perhaps not, Squire, but some of us don't have a choice. The Jim will have the most difficult task. He has to keep an eye on the rogues, so there won't be any surprises. Uh, can you do that for us, Jim? 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 What's cooking, Biscuit? I'm making my favorite dish to celebrate our safe arrival. Cheese souffle. C'est magnifique, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, the crew finds out it's cheese again. Your arrival might not be so safe. It's a sound plan, Hawkins. <laughs> well done. It's very well thought out, Jim. Especially the little details. Uh, pardon me, <laughs> but what plan are we talking about? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. Ah, weren't you listening, Squire? Oh, a gentleman always listens. Only polite. Just not quite sure what I was hearing. Run through it again, will you, Hawkins? As long as we have the treasure map, the pirates can't sail away without us. We can sneak ashore and occupy the stockade indicated on the map. We can make a fight from there. The ship's too difficult to defend. <laughs> we'll outsmart those bounders yet! Yes, but how do we get off the ship without Silver and his minions being alerted? They always have someone on guard. I'll help Long John in the kitchen as usual. I'll put a sleeping potion in the cheese souffle. Mon Dieu, my souffle! Da, let's see. Star light, star bright. No, star might. No, no, that's not it either. <laughs> Come on, Biscuit. It's up to you. All I want to know is why it's up to the little mouse and not the big brave cat or the very fast bird. Biscuit, we don't have time to discuss this. All right, all right. But I'm not at my peak performance, having missed dinner on account of it being tempered with... <gasps> a little mousy. <laughs> Hello, little mousy. No! Yowch! Why you? Yowch! Come back here! Whoa! Yeah! Probably the first bath old George has ever had. Time 
time to go. We can't carry any more supplies. I don't know how you distracted the sentry, Jim, but it worked. I had a little bit of help. Oh, never knew you had such a way with animals, Hawkins. Prepare to shove off. Stroke! 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 Work, men. We should be quite safe here for the time being. Then again, perhaps not. The sound general quarters, battle stations. Ahoy, the blockhouse! It's that rascal Silver. Wonder what that blackguard wants now. Whatever it is, he'll have to fight for it. Uh, we'd like a word before any hostilities need commence. What can a pirate say that means anything to honest men? Well, uh, that we'll let you live if you give us the map. If you want the map, you'll have to pry it out of our cold, dead fingers. <coughs> Perhaps I was a, a bit too clear about that. I say, night does fall quickly in the tropics. Oh, thank you, Jim. That's much better. <laughs> Ah, humans take things so very seriously. Too seriously. Doctor, how can you hit anything that way? Well, the way I shoot, I have just as much chance hitting something this way as any other. <laughs> no, I've got them. <laughs> We're out of ammunition! Prepare to repel borders! Up and at them, lads! Up the Jolly Roger! Oh. 
I think I cut myself. Take that! Cut, thrust, hurry, repulse, short, slice and dice. Julian! Help! Come back here, you squid! Help! Come back here, you valet! They don't call me a surgeon for nothing! Oh, I ask for bloodthirsty pirates and I get the three stooges! You run away, men! We'll finish these swabs tomorrow! Trim! Quasinor! Emulsify! Give you until tomorrow morning to decide whether or not we get the map or you get cold steel. Right, lads? <laughs> Wake up! It's time! What, what? Hmm. Where is gold? Hmm? Oh, I never should have left Perry. Yeah, it is. What, what? Where is gold? Yeah, it is, right? Here it is. Where is it? Rock what? a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Here's the map. Good job. Now what? Now we go find Long John Silver. Oh, it seems to me we should be heading in the opposite direction. Not bad thinking for a feline. Um, why are we trying to find the pirates, Jim? Because all the treasures in the world isn't worth anyone getting killed for. <laughs> and will you keep making so much noise? See, these cutthroats are liable to find you first. <laughs> uh, who, who are you? Oh, I'm Ben Gunn, and you're glad to meet me, I bet. <laughs> Well... Oh, wait, wait, don't move. Oh, <laughs> oh, the configuration between you, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, the tension, yet the space, a great artistic statement. Oh, you all must be great friends. Uh, uh, say, you wouldn't happen to have a, a nice piece of cheese on you, would you? Oh, he's breaking my heart. Uh, no, why? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> no time to talk now, anyway. I have to go warn the folks in the stockade. There's pirates about. <laughs> Just stay out of sight and old Ben Gunn will be back for you later! <laughs> exactly who or what was that? That was my friend Ben Gunn. Be easy on him. He's gotten a little odd since his friends marooned him here three long years ago. And you're? I'm Ben's good friend Friday. Welcome to the island, man. It's a real paradise. Lovely island of pleasure As the tropical waters flow You can find a fortune of pleasure Here where the coconut palm trees grow All the creatures wish you good morning And the fish is always good day For they hope you'll treasure the island Memories you take when you sail away Oh, even the birdies that sing above in the trees No, the greatest treasures are these The island breeze with the seven seas and all the Blossoms and the bees From the mountain, river and flower You can feel the island call When you daily showers an hour Under a magical waterfall And the mangoes ripe in the sunshine All appear to be made of gold Yes, the greatest treasure by any measure Can neither be bought nor sold And by the way But incidentally there's one more thing to be found Say, there's buried treasure around 
in it a mound Cause part of booty and it's hidden in the ground It's great satisfaction to serve you Enjoy all the island delight With super fantastic mornings <laughs> Where you can play all day And you can dream all night For as long as you seek adventure And if treasure should be your quest There's so much to find and it's not one kind On the island we think is the best By the way, I should inform you There's one more thing to be found Say, there's buried treasure around It's on a map, it's such a snap It's almost sitting in your lap On my lovely island of treasure As the tropical waters flow You can find the fortune of pleasure here to meet you Friday, and I'm sorry we don't have time to get better acquainted, but we have to find the pirates' camp. You're looking to find the pirates, and you take Ben's a loony? There's no time to explain. Relax, man. The guests always be right. I take you to them. I shouldn't be surprised. Always something new happened on the island since the developers got here. It's not the same. No, man. Not the same. Fair enough. Thanks, Friday. Yeah. Long John, we need to talk. Do what? It's the brat. Where? Where? Jim. <laughs> Good to see you, lad. Save it for the judge, Silver. You know what this is? The map, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know something, Jim? I believe that really was the map. It was. You saw it. I, I saw it. And so have you. Quite often, I'm sure. So? So Jim Hawkins remembers everything he sees, doesn't he? Who needs the map when they've got Jim Hawkins? Uh-oh. I think Jim outsmarted himself. And I'm sure you'll be happy to tell us all about where the treasure's hid, won't you, laddie? No, I won't. But if you give yourselves up, I'll do everything I can to see that you get a fair trial. <laughs> Belay that, Bilge. You're gonna tell us everything we want to know, whether you want to or not. Yow! Oof! There'll be none of that till I say. I'm captain here. We made you captain because you promised us the treasure. You'll get your treasure, but you'll get it my way. This lad's outsmarted us right from the beginning. Now he's in my custody, and you'll not touch him. Give us the information, you leave that to me. We'll give him until sunrise. Then you'd better not get in our way, Silver. Why, the thought never crossed my mind. So, uh, you see how it is, Jim. You know I can't do it, Long John. Well, why not, my boy? You said money wasn't worth getting killed for. Mon Dieu, what are we going to do? Don't worry, man. Be happy. You on the island. Soft ocean breezes, beautiful sunsets. It'll all work out. Why are you doing this, Long John? Well, how else is a man with only one leg and no prospects to get along, eh, lad? But you're better than this. Well, maybe so, Jim, but it's too late now. For both of us, if you don't make the smart decision. I can't lead you to the treasure. <sighs> then we're both done for. Because I can't stand by and see a lad like you get hurt. I don't see any other way out. To you, Jim. There is always another way. What now, Jim? The only way to keep everyone from killing each other is for us to find the treasure first. Then we make them be good if they want to share. What treasure are you folks yakking about, man? This whole island be full of treasures. The island is a treasure all by itself. Oh, right, right. You told us all about it already. Uh, 
This is a, a different sort of treasure. What's the big deal? Treasure. After attorney's fees, third party costs, finder's commission, <laughs> it'll be nothing. It, it not so fast, man. There may be reefs ahead. Find us, Keeper Silver. You best get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> Sue yourselves, men. But don't say oh Long John didn't warn you. Ben's been digging holes all over the island. Looks deep. I'm painful. Someone might come along and fall into it if they're not careful. That's the idea, man. Whoa! Uh, get me out of here! Yeah, you all right, Pew? Uh, do something! Don't just stand there! No worries, friend. He won't be standing there no more. Where is it? Where is it? You'd better hurry, Jim. We can't hold them much longer. It's around here someplace. If I can just find... It's here! I found it! The final marker! That means the treasure has to be right over... here? Are you sure this is the place, Jim? <laughs> it's not a mistake. There's no mistake. <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of fools we are! I'm glad you're happy, Silver. A man should have one last good laugh on his dying day. <laughs> yeah, we can at least use the hole to dump you and the brat in. That's not going to happen. And what's going to stop it? Look out! Run away! Ah, gentlemen, I, I never dreamed I'd be so glad to see you again. <laughs> Your prisoner, Captain. You knew we knew, we knew what you knew, and we knew we'd outsmart you, Silver. <laughs> Mayhaps, Captain. <laughs> Mayhaps. <laughs> so it's all that shiny, tingly stuff you call treasure? <laughs> what good is it? You can't even eat that stuff. Friday? You know where the treasure is? Of course, man. I'll take you to it. But like I said before, I see treasure in everything on the island. <laughs> Why is this gold better than a mango or a papaya? Or a waterfall at sunset? Surprises indeed. There wasn't much for a man marooned on an island to do, but to get to know the place like the palm of his hand. So what does one do when he finds a treasure in the backyard? Why, you take it home with you, of course, and play with it. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> ben had no interest other than a fair share of the treasure, passage home, and a good review. Although a craving for cheese after years on the island without it made Ben and Biscuit bosom buddies. And Friday even threw in a farewell gift basket, which made us very happy indeed. So long, man. Come back to the island anytime. My home is your home. Hey, try the coffee. So we headed home. Everyone with a happy future to look forward to. Except for one. Hey, Jim lad, why so glum? <laughs> look at the life that's laid out for you now. You're rich and young and free. It wasn't my life I was thinking about. Oh, <laughs> Jim, I've made my choices and I have no regrets. Your life is the one that's important now. I know. You saved it for me. No, 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 don't get mushy, Jim. I, I might have taken it from you just as easily. But you didn't. No, oh, don't be so depressing, Jim. You know, if you're going to survive, you have to think about the good things. I'll set you free. Goodbye, Jim, lad. May the wind be always at your back, and your steel never be dull. I'll never forget you, Long John Silver. Jim says he never saw Long John Silver again. And Jim has always been known as a very truthful boy. So it was a surprise when Long John turned up missing, along with a sack of treasure. But not a big surprise, because Jim was even better known as the truest of friends. And that's what Jim Hawkins remained for many years to come. He lived happily ever after.
and he wasn't alone. Captain Smollett, Dr. Livesey and the Squire spent most of their fortunes on hospitals, orphanages and old seamen's homes. Except we got the Squire some badly needed new wigs. How about this one? Or this one? And Dickens found a place to call home. <laughs> Biscuit could now do what he always wanted without interruption. A little more cheese, a little more cheese, et voila! Ben Gunn brought a bit of the island ways home with him. George, Mary and Hans got themselves some honest employment. Aye! Whoa! Watch out! Whoa! And Jim, he went to school and became a great scholar and was later famous for writing stories of pirates and treasure and adventure with a little help from his old friend, yours truly. <laughs> pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! <laughs> But none of us can ever forget our adventures on Treasure Island. So long, Mom! Have a wonderful life! Come back again! <laughs>